Hey everybody, it's Brandon, and I am finally making a video about tools. Uh, the biggest question by far I get on my channel is what pen or pencil am I using in a particular video? So, finally made a video where I explain all the tools that I use. I mean, there's some things I use really, really rarely that I'm not going to explain here, but most of the stuff I I use is going to be explained here. So in the future, I'm going to save myself a ton of time because I don't have to answer every single question by looking up the name of the pen because I really forget what the pen's names are and stuff. So it's all here in this video. Um, I hope you check out some of these pens. I hope you know you can do some amazing things with them. I'm sure they will solve all of your artistic frustrations. So with that said, please enjoy. <music> The Colorace Indigo. This is the pencil I use for drawing and sketching. Uh, it really has an ideal lead softness for me. It glides on the paper, it layers great, it doesn't smudge too much, and I can use the side of the lead for shading. They have an eraser built in, which is big for me. Um, and these are also great to use in other colors like red and orange. Kuretake Pocket Brush Fine Tip and the Kuretake Pocket Brush Extra Fine Tip. These are my workhorses. I probably do 90% of my comic book work with these. Um, I'm doing more and more with a Sakura Pigma calligrapher, but these I still use a ton. They just give me an amazing amount of variation. Obviously, one's a little bit thicker, one's a little bit thinner, but you can get great, broad, uh, diverse line quality with them down to very detailed, exact work. I absolutely love these and couldn't recommend them more. The Sakura Pigma Calligrapher 1mm. So this is the new kit on the block. I originally got it for making borders on my comics, but I have fallen in love with the line quality I can get with it. No equal when it comes to making razor sharp thin lines either. Banana. Uh, yeah, classic yellow banana. Yeah, you can't draw with a banana! <laughs> the Delator Neopico Line 3 Pen 1mm. Uh, this is now my go-to pen for any micron type drawing. This is for all of the really finest uh, details in the background. The ballpoint pen, uh, the most underrated sketching tool in existence. As long as you're confident and skilled enough, you can do really amazing uh, layered things with it. I have literally penciled pages with ballpoint pen. The Pitt Artist Big Brush. You know, I used to use a uh, Prismacolor marker for filling in a lot of my black areas, but this marker is really superior. Um, it doesn't bleed. The color is a lot more stable than a Prismacolor. And I like that its brush tip allows me to kind of get into those corners and detailed areas that are going to be a little bit clumsier to get in with a, with a large marker. This is really what I use for filling in those large areas of black. Banana! Uh, yeah, banana. Uh, you kids! <laughs> the Sailor Mini Correction Pen. Uh, this is my white out of choice. Good for covering big areas. Portable. Uniball Signo Gel Pen. White, of course. Uh, this is the best opacity i found for white over black drawing. Um, and it can also be used for minor corrections. Uni Posca Paint Markers. Um, these can be used for correction, and you can do a little bit of white over black, although they can sometimes kind of mix with the inks. But what they really are great for is doing really cool splatter effects, which is something I'll probably have to demonstrate sometime. The Kuretake Number no. 13 Fountain Brush Pen. I know a lot of artists that use this as their go-to tool. It's a fantastic piece of equipment to have, very high-end. Um, personally, I use it mostly for large, brushy, and organic shapes. Uh, it's also easy to convert into dry brush by popping out the ink cartridge. My orange plastic triangle thingy. Um, this is really for drawing straight edges. Uh, it's big enough to do most things on a comic page, but portable too. Ellipse templates. Ellipses are hard to draw, especially if you're horrible at drawing ellipses like me. Templates help. All right, just to review, these are the tools I like to use. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. And please, for the love of God, please stop asking me every single video what pen or pencil I'm using. Mm -hmm.